bright duty every student matters hi students today we are going to talk about another important sense organ that is nose right now noses as we all know are used to uh, smell the scents and it is very important the reason being that whatever uh, you know harmful chemicals are there around us we are able to smell them and we are able to uh, you know uh, save ourselves from them uh, for example whenever you are eating anything you can smell if the food has gone rotten has gone bad all of these things are uh, the things which you can uh, do with the help of your nose so obviously noses are used to smell scents smell also has the strongest connection to memory many a times like i have already uh, when uh, when we were talking about uh, examples we already said that as soon as you enter the house let's say your favorite food is biryani as soon as you enter the house you are able to recognize the smell of that dish of biryani and you will be no you will know that okay some you know some somebody has either eaten it or is cooking it right so connect uh, memory and uh, the smell is closely connected right uh, also a familiar uh, smells can remind us of things long forgotten right for example a many a times suppose uh, when you enter when you uh, think of uh, when you smell the smell of biryani you will be able to think of uh, a dish which you ate this biryani which you ate let's say in hyderabad and it was very tasty right so smell is something which uh, you know stirs up our memory and it is one of the strongest way to remember things right olfactory cells line the top of the nasal cavity now these olfactory cells are the sensory cells in the case of eyes we saw the sensory cells were rods and cones in the case of uh, hearing organ of cotai was the sensory organ and over here we have the olfactory cells which are able to receive the smell now on one end olfactory cells have cilia that is the hair like attachments that project into the nasal cavity right and on the other end of the cell are the olfactory nerve fibers which pass through the ethmoid bone and into the olfactory bulb right now understand that the cell in one hand the olfactory cell has cilia which is projecting out into the nasal cavity and the other has the nerve ending which connects itself to the olfactory nerves now this nasal cavity this part of your nose if you see there is a cavity over here right these openings of the nose goes into a cavity and this skin which is present the inner part of the of it contains this olfactory cells which have cilia which have the tendency to pick up on the chemicals obviously the smell that you are smelling or uh, anything which you are smelling is because of the chemicals right so the these a uh, cilia are able to catch these chemicals now these olfactory nerve fibers collect the information that we get from the cilia and they are able to send it to the olfactory nerve fibers this olf olfactory nerve fiber uh, goes into the olfactory bulb which is present uh, into the which is directly attached to the cerebral cortex of your brain so this ol olfactory bulb is a part of your cerebral cortex right and is able to interpret the smell right now let's see now let's see how do we breathe right obviously when we are breathing in something only then we are taking in the smells around us right so uh, it is very important to understand the process of breathing now as one breathes anything that is in the air is taken in it enters the nasal cavity right so when the air is taken in it contains hydrogen oxygen nitrogen dust pollen and chemicals these chemicals are actually released from various things right if you are cooking something obviously the uh, smell that is coming out of the chemicals or of see if you are talking about let's say a simple tea so tea leaves obviously have a certain chemical which has a particular smell so you are able to smell that even the ginger that you are putting in the tea has a particular smell because of the chemical that it has so these chemicals are actually picked up by the nose right the dust and the pollen does not have any kind of smell and that's the reason why obviously they do irritate the nasal cavity the dust and the pollen when it is in you know large amount then it will irritate but small amount of dust we actually taken almost all the time whenever we are smelling or uh, breathing right 
The olfactory cells are the chemoreceptors. Chemoreceptors means that they react towards the presence of a chemical, which means that the olfactory cells have protein receptors that can detect subtle differences in the chemicals. The chemicals bind to the cilia, which generates a nerve impulse that is carried through the olfactory cell into the olfactory nerve fiber up to the olfactory bulb and then to your brain. The brain determines what you smell, right? So, obviously, a child when he is small, they start learning what the smell exactly means, right? This is a thing which you learn. You learn, you remember the smell of a scent, you remember the smell of a rose, right? If a person has never smelled rose and if you spray the, spray, uh, if you spray the scent on that person, you, he will not be able to recognize it, that. Although he might think, okay, this is a pleasant smell, but he will not be able to recognize what kind of smell is that, right? So, this is what we are able to achieve with the help of the uh, olfactory uh, cells which are present inside the nose, right? So, this is how we breathe and this is how we are able to take in different smells which are present around us, right? It is important for us to, uh, you know, uh, have the sense of smell because that is how we know, uh, you know, certain chemicals have pungent smell. This is the reason why because they are harmful for us, right? The food that gets uh, spoiled has a pungent smell. Again, all of these smells which irritate us, which are bad, which we feel that, okay, this is not good, are the ones uh, which indicate that, okay, there is something wrong over here, right? 